Welcome back to another episode of Follow the Fuso. If you are new to our channel, I'm Jenny. This is my hubby Craig and our fur kid Cosmo. Follow us as we explore Australia in our Fuso 4x4 expedition truck named Sid and our boat Impy. If you enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Now we have just left Augusta this morning and uh, heading towards Alexander Bridge again, which is only about 20 minutes away. And we have found a little pit stop on the way here in, uh, where are we, Carindale? And you can see why. Biltong! <laughs> Only Craig's favourite thing in the world. So, it's just at this. Uh... <laughs> Hi, babe! It's just at this little um, road stop on the, uh, on the highway. Pretty nifty. How'd you go? Um, you didn't have any plain, you didn't have any plain biltong at the moment. Right. So it's got some pepper. There we go. Pepper. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, yum. And some draw horse. And draw of horse. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, a draw of horse. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Something to nibble along the way. <laughs> Bye. Hello. What, what you doing, babe? I am mm -hmm. messing that up. <laughs> What's going on? I'm busy doing a thing called an anchor trolley. Mm -hmm. and what that does is allow me, it's going to be doing onto there now. What that allows me to do is put an anchor for the kayak through there, mm -hmm. over there. Of course, so when I'm sitting in the seat, I can move the anchor either to the front or oh, sorry, to the back or to the, to the front of the boat. Nifty. Yeah, very nifty. Um, yeah, because you aim on doing quite a bit of fishing off your kayak. Yeah. Point. Yep. Well, you put the... Uh, when we can't get the boat out. That's right. And put the mount on as well the other day for the for the fishing rod holder and uh, this is the anchor here oh, it is the most adorable thing you've ever seen <laughs> it's tiny <laughs> oh goodness is that all yeah it's really light really light and you've rigged your line around this plastic reel here oh. for that. So yeah, good. All right. Well, it did mean putting holes through the boat, <laughs> but you did silicon it up, of course. So it will not be a problem. It should be fine. Once I've got it together, I'll show you exactly how it all works. All right. Well, we'll wait till then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We're back at Alexander Bridge. Oh, we are. We absolutely are back at Alexander Bridge. One of our favourite camp spots from Augusta this morning. We're all set up in our favourite site as well, number three, because we are right on the water. We can see the water from here, which is nice. The river. And surrounded by nature. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm finished. I'm finished with my anchor trolley. I must state this is not my idea. This is a pretty common thing that's done on on uh, on these kayaks. I've just uh, done my mine. So the idea being, you've got a kayak on the line, sitting in the kayak. Throw your line out. You then put it through the Caribbean over here. And then, if you want the um, 
the, car, the anchor to be at the back of the boat. You pull on that and you can see that the line goes out there and obviously let some line out. Your anchor then goes and sort of hooks itself into the ground and then on your trolley line over here you lock it off like that and then with your anchor line you basically do the same just lock it off like that so then your anchor's not going to go anywhere do that and then uh, yeah you sit back and catch some fish and then if you want to move your anchor to the front of the boat for whatever reason you uh, just loosen that off you loosen that off and then you just pull that line see it shifts it off to the front and yeah no well that's gonna stay there in the ground still and then same thing again just lock it off and just uh, lock that off boom one by anchor for a kayak pretty fancy nice good job babe Thanks. Cool. Good. Go use it now. Yes, go catch some fishes. Catch some fish. I caught heaps here the other day. You did catch heaps. Mm. Nice. Good. Go catch. Good. Bye. 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 Oh, we've woken up to a very chilly but beautiful morning at Alexandra Bridge campsite. The fog is just starting to lift now so I thought I'd just come out and go for a walk to the river's edge and have a look what it looks like there. Nothing better than waking up to chilly morning Fog's lovely, you know, that's going to lift, and the sound of birds. Hello everyone, we are in Bridgetown, very quaint little um, place this is. Craig's just doing our shopping for us for the next few days. It's his turn <laughs> at the IGA down the road there. And Cozzy and I are having a walk around town. And being autumn, it's actually really pretty with the, uh, the leaves falling everywhere. There's some nice little cafes. There is a lolly shop just up here on the left, which I won't go to, because I'll probably end up buying too many sweets. There's op shops and little boutique stores and antique shops. Very quaint. Well, we're back on the Blackwood River, uh, this time out of Bridgetown. We uh, moved camp from Alexander Bridge this morning. Lovely spot in Bridgetown, right on the river, river view. And yeah, we've come out for a paddle on the river. And this section is quite shallow, as you can maybe see. Uh, but it is absolutely beautiful. Anyway, I better concentrate on where I'm going, else I'm going to get stuck on some branches maybe having a good time all right speak soon bye and we're back at camp might just be able to see the truck up there yeah lovely little paddle on the blackwood this afternoon i think it, i think the river's nicer at alexander bridge yeah. it's deeper 
deeper and a little bit cleaner. Yeah, this is very still water here. Yeah. Stuff. Maybe green some green algae starting. Anyway, we're going to go back up to the truck, get these kayaks up the hill and uh, settle in for the night. Bye. I just thought I'd show you all our camp spot at the Bridgetown Caravan Park. Uh, it's a fantastic little spot right alongside the river. We've got a little path right next to us here that leads you down. These steps lead you down to the water. And that was a bit of fun getting the kayaks up and down there after our paddle. <laughs> bit of exercise. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's got like a little beachy area down the bottom here. Very easy to launch. Very easy to launch from. And the river. Hello everybody. Hello. <laughs> There has been a change of plans. We were going to go to Willow Springs and meet up with some GX friends of ours, but unfortunately, one of them's sick. So we're gonna postpone it. We haven't canceled it. We'll postpone it till another time because we are hoping to have, um, well, at least two, if not three GXs, uh, maybe even four, who knows, in the same place. <laughs> so um, we'll do that maybe later in the month. And for the meantime, Yes, <laughs> we have decided to go a bit further closer to Perth, probably about an hour and a half away here at Lake Brockman Campground. And it is very nice. It's a weekend, but we barely have any neighbours. And for the first time in a long time, we are going to enjoy a fire. And Craig's got a great fire going. Mm. And what's for dinner tonight, babe? Steaks or burgers or some, something on the fire? On the fire. <laughs> something on the, on the fire. fire. Absolutely cooking on the fire tonight. Good. It's been too long. It has been too long, hasn't it? This is what we love doing the most. Out in the bush, kind of by ourselves, not quite, but no one else around us at the moment so it's nice and uh, making a fire and just enjoying the outdoors and Lake Brockman is oh, it's a bit sunny down there I'll try and get that in might be a little hard to see but it is straight through the trees there so about uh, 200 meters maybe Well, we're all set up, fire's going, going to have a drink and start some dinner. That's it for now. See ya. Well, it's another beautiful day at Lake Brockman Camp Ground and I thought I'll go for a quick walk to the lake because it's not far so I'll take you with me hey Cozzy <laughs> so there's multiple paths but we'll uh, maybe pick this one here there's only a couple of hundred meters down to the water we went for a walk this morning and um, there are a couple of boats out this is really popular for water skiing Watch the branches. And here is Lake Brockman. Ooh, a bit windy down here.
this place would be amazing in summer I imagine it would be packed as well apparently there are some other camping sites on the other side of the lake There's someone skiing out there right now. Oh, it's beautiful. Just ahead down there is the dam wall. You may be able to see that from here. And then it's all foresty sort of bushland up there where all the campsites are. Oh yeah, pretty good spot for only being about an hour and a half out of Perth. nice all right well I'll head back up maybe take a different track and see what my boys are doing bye oh we're just out exploring the the lake today Lake Brockman and I've come right across the other side now. We're camped somewhere opposite. There. It is so pretty. <laughs> Lucky we've had a beautiful couple of days here too. The temperature has just been wonderful, mm -hmm. hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's been good. Yeah. It's been a bit overcast at night as well, so it's been. It's been not cool. freezing. Not yeah. freezing, no. Yeah. No. Beautiful, all right. Yeah. Now we are able to drive around the whole lake, so we'll uh, we'll do that. Hello everybody, we have just left Perth, we were staying with our friends Socks and Diana for the last week. Um, Craig and Socks worked a lot on our GX's, got a few things done, there's still more to do, but we will be back in two weeks time. Diana, you kept us very well fed, thank you very much. Waffles. Waffles, best waffles, waffles ever. That's all I'm hearing now from Craig, no, waffles, where waffles. waffles. Where are the waffles? <laughs> Um, and another huge thank you for my new Akubra hat. I absolutely love it. And we thought we'd better get one for Craig because he's a bit jealous. <laughs> uh, we're Akubra people now. We are. <laughs> sure are. Where's my Akubra? Where's your Akubra? There you go. Oh, real Aussie now. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, no going back now. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're heading north and we'll... Um, We'll let you know where we're at when we get there. Bye. Good morning, everyone. We're at Willowbrook uh, Farm, and we are, I guess, oh, it would be about an hour and a half northeast of Perth. And it is the first day of winter. Can you believe it? It is beautiful, 
The sun's out already. It is mild. It's going to be around 20 degrees today. Oh, lovely. Loving this Western Australia weather so far. I thought I'd just do a quick loop. There's some very, it's a very old farm and farmhouse. Still a working farm. Every now and then you see some um, chickens running around. There's been, uh, oh, I don't know if there's any here. There's some big bulls. There's some massive horns, but I don't think they're here at the moment. No. No, okay. Yeah, this is sort of just a, a brief stop for us as we head slightly further north. Um, we were going to go to the coast, but we've realised that it's a public holiday, Western Australia Day, this Monday. So we uh, couldn't get in anywhere along the coast. So we've decided when we leave here, we're going straight to... Oh... Kubram. I'm going to have to get back to you with that one. I can't remember the exact town, but it's it's whoop whoop. It's about two and a half hours north of here, still inland. And um, we'll stay there until the long weekend passes. There is a beautiful old cemetery here. It's very different. That's nice. And we're there, feels like we're smack bang in the middle of the park. We've been able to um, keep the boat attached, which is nice. We like that when we can get a drive through site. And I believe Craig's talking to some fellow South Africans at the moment. Well, that's it for now. Um, we'll keep heading north and uh, fill you in at the next place. Okay, bye. <laughs> Craig can't help himself. He's fixing a, uh, a sign that's fallen down at the front of this campsite. You might be able to just see him there. He got the drill out. <laughs> a couple of um, screws and all done. All done, babe? Huh? All done? No. No? What are you missing? Um, A screw. I know that. Yeah, <laughs> put the back in. Oh, nice. Tackling the flies. Huh? Tackling the flies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you saw me. I am. <laughs> was going to go outside and film, but the wind is crazy and no one would be able to hear me on the microphone. We're at Karoo, which is a... Uh, it's a... Karoo! It's a tiny little caravan park. It's probably the smallest we've stayed at. There's only about 18 or so sites. They're all powered. Dump spot, showers, toilets, water power for fifteen dollars the cheapest we have paid for power i believe and um yeah it's been a great little place and we're staying here for another night or two just to see past the um public holiday in western australia which is tomorrow and then we'll head further north or west maybe a bit more west because we're about couple of hours north of Perth right now in Whoop Whoop. So not a bad little spot to be. It's very quiet. Um, our second camp in our second year of travelling on the road. All right. And we'll see how Craig goes with this sign and fill you in later. Bye. morning everyone we left Kuru 
yesterday and have arrived back on the west coast to Greenhead. We're staying here for a few days. The weather is looking up, which is good. No rain today. Uh, sunny and 21 tomorrow, so looking forward to that. And we've decided to come out on a, a walk. They've got a three bays walkway here. Uh, and we are about to start that. It's a little under three kilometers, so it's not too bad. There we go. Just come in a bit closer so you can see the map. And it will show, uh, oh, what was it? It's South Bay, Dynamite Bay and Anchorage Bay. They're the main three bays that we're going to go and see today. And uh, I won't film us walking the whole way, but I'll, I'll get some footage from when we're at the lookouts when we get to them. Okay, are we ready, Craig? We're ready to go. Ready to go, ready, Cozzy. Go. <laughs> We're ready, see ya. Lovely.